A recent study commissioned by the Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development and the United Nations Population Forum, Nigeria, reveals that 28% of Nigerian women aged 25 to 29 have experienced some form of physical violence since age 15. The study also reveals that 15% of women experience physical violence within 12 months preceding the survey. Meanwhile, the most common acts of violence in Nigeria include sexual harassment, physical violence, harmful traditional practices, emotional and psychological violence, and socioeconomic violence. For the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice Edo State, Professor Yinka Omogbe, the quarterly meeting of the Sexual and Gender-Based Violence Response Team is also to finalize plans for next year's activity. Our primary aim is um, to reduce the incidence of gender-based violence, rape, defilement of children, all these sort of negative things that presently are a huge problem in Nigeria and in Edo State. The idea is that when somebody is not violated, that person, first of all, they need to be a person to embrace the person, to tell you that your world is not ended. And that's purely the work of the welfare officers that are domiciled within the Ministry of Social Development and Gender. The Zonal Director NTA Benin Network Centre, Pauline Igbano, represented by the Manager Programs, Angela Philippa Ame, reveals that the meeting is geared towards giving hope to victims of sexual violence. The one positive step that I would um, you know, agree with that um, is um, a plus is that at least the victims can now come out and talk about the violations against them. Let the public know how to prevent all of it, where it occurs, numbers to call, where to go to. So we do a lot of caring, a lot of counseling, a lot of ensuring that they are um, in good health, a lot of ensuring that their future is protected. The rule of law and anti-corruption program is funded by the European Union and implemented by the British Council. In Benin, Chikodi Obi, NTA News.